Okay, y'all, so you remember when Miguel Sapochnik made the announcement that he was going to be stepping down as co-showrunner of House of the Dragon. They made it sound like it was kind of like, okay, well, you know, we just went our separate ways. But there is a new report talking about the alleged real reason why Miguel left. Let's talk about it. So now my understanding is, like I said in my description box, that Miguel Sapochnik will still be credited as executive producer on the show, but that when he stepped down in August, I think it was, that there was a pretty interesting reason as to why he left. Now, we were not aware, we were not made aware of this um, when the announcement was officially made first, but new reporting is telling us this. Of course, this is coming from indie wire miguel sapochnik left house of the dragon after hbo refused to let his wife serve as producer so the article starts no show on tv has more family drama than house of the dragon hbo's soap opera about the game of thrones targaryen clan fighting for control of westeros you could tell a fan ain't right this shit. <laughs> anyway uh and that drama apparently isn't just on screen according to new reports about the showrunners of the hit series so shortly after the first season premiered in august co-showrunner miguel sapochnik announced he was leaving the series though he would continue to executive produce the series at the time, HBO and Sapochnik framed his exit as an amicable one, with Sapochnik saying, it was incredibly tough to decide to move on, but I know that it is the right decision or right choice for me personally and professionally. However, according to a report from Puck, which is a media startup founded by former reporters at outlets like The Hollywood Reporter, CNN, and The Atlantic, Sapochnik's exit was far from amicable. Like, God damn. The report says that his leave from the show was instead motivated by disagreements between him and HBO over his wife, Alexis Rabin, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, and her involvement in House of the Dragon. Now, Alexis appeared in four episodes of the series as Talia, a lady in waiting to Allison. And, but you can see here, you can see her hair, and is a credited producer on season one of the show. According to the Puck report, Miguel Sapochnik asked for Alexis to be again included on the producing team for the show's second season, only for HBO to refuse, pointing to her inexperience. Alexis's only producing credit is on season one of House of the Dragon. The report further says that HBO had to bring in a mediator. Whew, things were getting hot, okay? They had to bring in a mediator to de-escalate the dispute before Miguel Sapochnik decided to leave the show over the situation, firing his agents at WME before going to rival agency CAA with his wife. I also heard that he turned down some coin, okay? Uh, in order to do this, HBO declined to comment on the story to IndieWire. Sapochnik currently has a first look deal with the channel to develop new projects. Okay, so I guess it doesn't really matter that he turned down the coin from HBO, I mean, from House of the Dragon, because if HBO is still using him to do new projects, um, then I guess he ain't really phased about that shit. Prior to joining season one of House of the Dragon as co showrunner alongside creator Ryan Condal, who will now serve as the sole showrunner of the series, Sapochnik helmed six episodes of Game of Thrones, starting in season five on House of the Dragon. He also directed the pilot and the seventh episode, Driftmark. In a story with The Hollywood Reporter before the series premiere, Condal admitted Sapochnik was hesitant to join House of the Dragon, telling him, I'm never doing Thrones again. So all of this is just new information. Like, obviously, like I said, we knew that uh, Miguel Sapochnik had stepped down as co-show runner, still going to be executive producer, credited as executive producer. Um, but yeah, all of this is kind of like, wow, okay. So Miguel wanted his wife to continue to be on a show and to be credited as producer. And there were just, HBO was just like, girl, if you don't get this bullshit out of here. <laughs> they were just like, girl, if you don't get her ass out of here. Now, I, it's, it's such, I don't know even how to think about this because 
Miguel Sapochnik directed, we already know, Battle of the Bastards. He did Winds of Winter, um, that episode where Cersei blows up the set and takes control of King's Landing and Tommen jumps out that goddamn window. <laughs> Jeez. I think this was also the episode where Danny names Tyrion Hand of the King and she sets sail for the Seven Kingdoms. So like huge episodes. You're talking about Driftmark where he d directed in uh, House of the Dragon. And that's the episode where when Aemon claims Vagar and everybody over it. And it's just drama at Driftmark. Just drama all over the place, right? So, and these were really good episodes. Even though some people were just like, great, we'll have better lighting. And I was just like, damn, y'all can't do Miguel like that. Don't do Miguel like that. <laughs> y'all said, y'all tired of turning up the brightness on y'all TV. <laughs> let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. But I just, okay, so on one hand, I understand it from the showrunner's point of view where it's just like, okay... Um, why does she have to be on, why does she have to be on the, um, the team so bad? Well, like, why does she have to be producer so bad? Like, why do you want her so bad on this show? Like, especially, I mean, especially if she has no experience with what they're looking for, but also it's just like, okay, so if y'all didn't want her in season two, why the fuck y'all put her in season one anyway? You see what I'm saying? So I get it from, I understand that. At the same time, I'm also like, damn, I really am annoyed that Miguel is not going to be included because I think he has directed, he has been the mastermind behind some of the most amazing Game of Thrones and also House of the Dragon episodes that we have seen ever. You know, it just seems like a mess on all sides. Like, it just seems like a mess on all sides. Like, if I was this big, huge director or whatever, and the company said, hey, sis, like, we're not really interested in your wife coming to set. <laughs> and this is talking as if I would have a wife in the first place, bitch, I'm gay. <laughs> bitch, I'm gay. But you know what I mean? Like, we don't want your spouse to be coming here, but we, we got to check for you. I would be like, hey, spouse, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something real quick, boo. You're going to have to just stay home for a second. Or you could just go to another set. You could go to another studio, find another motherfucking job. I'm going to make this work for me, for us, whatever. Bring home the coin and that's going to be it. Especially, especially if this spouse does not have the specific kinds of experience that the company is looking for. You know, instead of just, I don't know. I think we also have to keep in mind that these are just the reports that we're getting and if this report didn't come out, we wouldn't have known shit about this. So imagine how how many more things are happening uh, behind the scenes. We, we just have no idea. But just going off of this, I just think it's, like I said before, a mess on all sides. Because it's a loss for the fans. Because honestly, Miguel be really doing the damn thing. Like, really, he be doing the damn thing. And I do understand that if you're working together as, you know, spouses and you got used to it. Or, you know, there's another place in the industry for y'all to work together i understand and, and that's what y'all want to do you know i understand leaving i really do get it if that's the kind of work environment that makes you comfortable and i guess miguel is renowned enough like well known enough um critically acclaimed enough to be able to make those kinds of demands to people i guess i don't know child not an industry work like that is <laughs> to, to be making those kinds of demands that one studio one one place one company is going to end up listening to them right to where okay if i come to set then she's if i come to this job then she's coming with me and if you're miguel then you know one company i'm sure a company is going to be like child fine whatever do it do whatever you want to do and i'm sure that's what they're looking for but um i just found that news very 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 surprising i did not expect for it to be because their spouse was not allowed that they are also leaving too but then i'm wondering if i was hbo i would be like girl whatever just bring your spouse <laughs> you are miguel sapasne like if i was hbo i'd be like girl whatever whatever or, or how to the dragon showrunners i'd be like girl whatever she could be allison's handmade whatever she could have plot armor on throughout the whole series she could be if she want to check you know she could be whatever. She could be a fly on the wall. She could be an extra somewhere. She could be uh, <laughs> a, one of these random banners in, in Westeros. Like whatever your spouse wants to do, let her ass do it. Just make sure you bring your ass to work, Miguel. Like that's, if I was if I was running House of the Dragon, I'd be like, bitch, just, just Miguel, just make sure you're here for the battle scenes and battle sequences, ch child, and bring your wife to whatever. <laughs> that's why I'd be like, whatever, girl. Just bring them in. So anyway, I would like to hear what y'all have to say about this because I was very surprised by this news. I, I mean, if you're talking about like leaving on terms that are not amicable i did not expect for this to be the reason i really i just didn't yeah like i said make sure y'all let me know what you think about this in the comments love y'all so much and i'll catch y'all later 